judge it. This case makes no sense to anybody. There is no gain for her from this. Timothy Ferguson was tortured and starved to death by his mother, Shonda Randerock, and his brother, Paul Ferguson. Judge Matthew Casel will be on the on the bench tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. Eastern. The sentence will commence shortly thereafter. Ed Wallace and I will be covering it live on Crime Time with Duty Ron. So Hope to see you all there. And so cold that they just defy explanation. And I convinced myself that the only thing that could make any sense is that on some level, she had stopped thinking of her children as human beings. What is your relationship with the thing? I mean, do you try to associate with him at all or not? Really? Not really. I found out that a lot of what he's told me about my biological mother up here was nothing more than blatant lies. Okay. He said that she didn't care for me, that yeah. she never wanted to see me, which were both lies. It was just, he's a control freak. Uh, what were the, what were these things for in the first place? Sneaking food over and over and over. Okay. We, we've tried everything. We were nice. We tried different kinds of fences, but we just, I couldn't never listen. What were some of the other types of things? Like, like prior to, prior to the interview, like, how we talked to him. Like, we did take away his devices. Okay. The mother had to say this to him, too, as a child growing up. And, and so he's just parroting what she's been saying all along. And, and in her mind, uh, it is unnecessary. And not only unnecessary, I mean, she describes it almost like, and, and he does too in this in this situation, where it's like an offense. Yeah, There's some yeah. crime that's been committed. Oh, and yes. any of us, I guarantee you, anybody who's listening in, I mean, I've got four kids of my own, as, as many of you know. I mean, every one of my kids has gone and gotten food without asking me or me thinking they're not going to, or they're not supposed to eat before dinner or whatever. Um, and they do. And it's that's just, a, it is normal. I mean, from what I saw, it sounds like you're compassionate and that you cared about him. And you sent some pictures that were like, he's looking too skinny and we, we need to feed him. And, you know, so sometimes you get frustrated, but at the end of yeah. the day, you kept coming back to like, to care. Um, yeah. But the end result of that, he passed away, right? And he passed away from not eating food. Used to be the standard was the guidelines, the guidelines that take into consideration all the elements. I don't think they would take into consideration the amount of absolute systematic, consistent torture uh, that you engaged in here. Something broke. We wouldn't be here. Something broke. Are you ready to deal with the consequences, whether it's good or bad?